once you have the contractor's W-9 information and you've worked with an attorney to write a legally binding contract, have the contractor sign the contract and any of those supplemental agreements you included. Schedule a one-on-one meeting with the contractor to review the contract and go over all of its points, especially the deliverables and due dates, any milestones you've included, payments, ownership of the final product and any components that went into it, and those additional agreements that you added to the contract. Be clear with your attorney before this meeting what is negotiable. Some points of this contract might be negotiable. For example, the due date for deliverables, the frequency of meetings, the amount of payments, and how they're scheduled. All of these might be negotiated right up to the point at which the contractor agrees to sign the contract. There will also be points which you should, with your attorney, identify as non-negotiable. Know what is negotiable and what is non-negotiable before you meet with the contractor to go over the contract. Leave no room for questions in the contract. Delaying a few days in getting the contract signed could save you lots of time and money later on. If there is any opportunity for your contractor or for an attorney or a judge to find a loophole or a missing point within the contract, you should expect them to take advantage of that in a way that won't be favorable to you. This is why it's critical that you work with an attorney to make sure that this contract is as airtight as possible.